education is a key issue uh, for, for travellers and it's uh, uh, travellers value uh, education greatly. And I think, you know, in your, your, your submission, you, you, you point out and to kind of to steal your words, it's a misconception to think otherwise. Um, but travellers experience significant barriers at all levels in ac accessing education. And schools can be a very cold place uh, for travellers. So even with the great enthusiasm that people start out with, very often landing in school, uh, uh, the, the, the experience is, is, is not always conducive to people flourishing in that space. Uh, travellers' history and culture is not, still not reflected in the curriculum. And the cuts to traveller education in the 2000s still, and they were massive cuts, haven't been restored or reversed. As per the National Traveller Survey 2017, four out of ten travellers said they or their children were bullied in school. In 2017, the Department of Justice and Equality commissioned an ESRI report, a social portrait of travellers, which found travellers are over 50 times more likely to leave school without the leaving certificate in comparison to the non-traveller population. Even within yellow flag schools, racism towards travellers dramatically increases in post-primary settings, and it is not uncommon to find examples of traveller students who were actively involved in their yellow flag primary schools and dropped out after their transition to a secondary school that was not involved in the programme. There exists a very real misconception within the wider community that travellers do not value education. This is, in itself is not true. Though uh, there exists within all people a desire to prosper, to grow, to learn, and the doors created by education are ones that are greatly valued and desired by travellers. However, many of these doorways are locked to us. They can be locked to us for, for due to underprovision of accommodation. They can be locked to us by the consequences of poverty. They, be, they can be locked to us when education strategies just remain strategies, and when those doorways are even considered not for us. And sometimes when they are open, they are sometimes open with people who have a sense they know very little about us or a lot about us in error. Entertainment. So I prefer to use the term uh, pushed out rather than dropped out. And certainly that was my own experience having, having attended primary school uh, many, many years ago. I think we are living in really difficult and challenging times in Ireland in terms of human rights and equality right across the board, not just for, for travellers. We've seen an increase, uh, no doubt about it, in right-wing rhetoric and populism. Um, and I just want to remind people that we can't be complacent. Uh, we need to be vigilant. And we need strong political leadership in addressing racism and the rise of the right in Ireland. And in light of this, uh, we welcome the recent uh, consultative uh, uh, process uh, in relation to hate speech and, and hate crime that the Department of Justice is, is carrying out. Uh, we all know that racism and discrimination can happen at many um, levels. It can happen at the individual level and also happen at the institutional level. And we see the negative impacts on this in every aspect of travellers' lives. And this is clearly evident in the area of education from what Ona said and what you've said yourself in terms of the statistics and